Good morning, this is Pastor John, and the title of my sermon is, Will You Profess Being a Christian, or Will You Deny Jesus Christ? I had an interesting thing yesterday as I was going through the news feed, uh, where one of my friends had posted the question, Will You Deny Being a Christian, or Will You Admit That You Are a Christian? And um, it was up there for like 45 hours, and I noticed there was like four wows or something. Nobody had commented. I quickly commented and said what I was going to say about my relationship with Jesus Christ and how I never deny him. Um, I put up a one-liner on my wall, you know, just as kind of a little test blurb to see who was going to um, comment on it. And it was, it's kind of odd, you know, that I got almost 5,000 friends and like 15 people um, you know, put a uh, like or wow or whatever, and only a few commented. How can we call ourselves Christians in this last day and deny Christianity, deny Jesus Christ, deny him as divine, deny him as our Savior, our Lord, our all in all? You know, Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew, 10, 32 to 33, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, I will confess him before the Father in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, I will deny before the Father in heaven. Plain and simple, folks. It's in this Bible, everything that's in this Bible is true. Woe to anybody who adds or takes away from this book. If we are not willing in these last days to take a stand for Jesus Christ, who is? You think the church today is? You think the government today is? Wow, you're sadly mistaken because what I see out there today is I see the church puffing themselves up, lifting themselves up, putting themselves on a pedestal, not Jesus Christ. I see the government coming against those who believe in Jesus Christ. I see the government oppressing those who take a stand, a religious stand on certain situations going on out there. And um, we are in the last of the last days. And if you're denying that you're a Christian and you're denying Jesus Christ, how could you say that you have the Holy Spirit living within you? How could you say that Jesus Christ is certainly is truly um living inside of you and if you died this very moment you would go to heaven if we deny jesus christ before men we will be denied in heaven you know it says in uh first john it goes on about denying jesus christ and this all comes from the spirit of the antichrist and how prevalent is that today in these last days where the spirit of the antichrist will fill this land and um how many people are going to follow after that? How many people are going to water down the gospel, which basically is serving the Antichrist, where we say, this is okay, that's okay, let's not push this too much anymore. We are called in these last days to be bold, to take a stand for what is right, to take a stand for what is true. How can anyone, see, I cannot phantom this, I'm sorry, I don't know how anyone could deny Jesus Christ. I don't know how anybody could deny what they've read in this Bible. And if you haven't read this Bible, I suggest you open it up. Because there's wisdom, there's knowledge, there's truth, and there's life in this Bible. How can anybody deny Jesus Christ? Um, my whole life I've been taught from a little guy on that God the Father is in heaven. Jesus Christ is the Son. The only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Um, I have been spoon-fed this, and as I take in that in, the Holy Spirit has worked more and more in me and convicted me uh, from a little guy on, age nine, to preach the gospel, to tell people about Jesus Christ. And uh, to my dying breath, I will. I will, deny, I will not deny Jesus Christ. I will not deny that he is the Son of God. I will not deny that he is the only way to heaven. And I will not deny that if you do not become born again, you will not see the kingdom of heaven. I remember when 
my mom was dying and uh, I was visiting her in a hospital and uh, she was in a coma, but yet I knew she was still there. She could hear me. And um, I said to myself, I'm going to fill this room with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to sing praises unto the Lord. I uh, remembered precious um, Christian hymns that my mom loved softly and tenderly, um, leaning on the everlasting arms, uh, the old rugged cross, what a friend we have in Jesus, and her favorite in the garden. And I would sing them boldly to her as she laid there. I would hold her hand, and I was not ashamed to show my Jesus to anybody who came in. And many came in, and, you know, uh, most of them gave their little, oh, this guy's crazy, smile at me, you know, or whatever, or, you know, uh, turned around right away. <laughs> but, you know, Jesus was glorified. I was not going to deny my Jesus Christ. I was not going to deny the power of the Holy Spirit. And I knew that I was going to stay faithful and true to what I was taught from a little child, that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and that nobody can come to the Father except through him. I will never deny my Lord. I will never deny my Savior. And what I want to know from you is, if you're truly a Christian, if you're truly born again, if you truly have the Holy Ghost dwelling within you, how can you say no to this man? How could you say no to this man in the Bible that you've read about? Many of you since you were little, uh, many of you just starting to read it now. How can you say no to this man? Don't you realize what this man went through as he walked this earth for 33 years, over 2,000 years ago? He came down to this sin-filled world out of a on a love mission, out of his great love for you. He walked this earth. He was ridiculed, he was scorned, he was rejected. He was brought before Pilate, he was brought before the um, Sanhedrin, before the um, leaders of his day, and he stood faithful, he stood true in the calling of why he came here. He came here as a sacrificial servant. He came here as the Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world. And how could he do that? Through his death. This man was willing to die for you. And you can't even say, I'm a Christian. You can't even stand up and say, I know Jesus Christ. You can't even put on a Facebook page that, um, yes, I love Jesus Christ. You can certainly put up a lot of other stuff, you know, uh, whatever's going on in the day or whatever. But you can't put this up about Jesus Christ. Uh, you're denying him. This man stretched out his arms and hung upon a cross for you. This man had spikes driven into his hands, into his feet for you. This man wore a crown of thorns upon his head for you. This man suffered a great death for you. You know, most people, they were scourged and they were let go. Most people didn't even live through the scourging. But this man took the scourging, 39 lashes upon his body. And then he picked up that cross and he carried it up that mountain, the Mount Calvary. He did it out of his great love for you. And yet you can say, I deny Christ. I don't know Christ. I'm afraid to put on, on a wall that I know Jesus Christ. I'm afraid to go into a restaurant and say a little prayer over my food that I know Jesus Christ. I'm afraid to sing praise and hymns to him. I'm afraid to tell my neighbors about him. I'm afraid to tell my family about him. I'm uh, afraid of what people are going to think about me. He certainly didn't think about what people were going to think about him when he went to that a cross for you, when he was whipped, when he was beaten, when he was tortured for you, when he hung naked on that tree before you and had people come by, revile him, spit at him, uh, slap him in the face. The Bible says that they ripped his beard off in Isaiah. Um, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. He was a lamb to the slaughter, and yet he went before them as a, a, a sheep before shearer is dumb. He went before them and did not open his mouth. He kept silent, for he knew that he was called for a purpose. And his purpose 
was to die for all of mankind so that we could have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever liveth and believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God sent his Son not into the world to condemn this world, but that this world could be saved through him. And yet, we can't even say we're a Christian. We can't even use the name Jesus Christ. I just can't phantom this today. I'm asking you in these last days, if you're truly burning with the Holy Spirit within you, if you truly love Jesus Christ, if he is your Lord, your Savior, and your King, let's step out boldly and let's declare into the world that Jesus Christ is number one in our lives, in our hearts, in our souls, in our minds. And let's never deny him. How about you? I don't know about you, but till my dying breath, I'm going to say the name Jesus Christ. This is Pastor John checking out, saying, Peace, love, and joy I leave with you. Peace, love, and joy that man, that man who came down from heaven, that man, the son of Galilee, who died on a cross for us all. I will never deny him. And I will shout out his name till the breath no longer is within me. Please, I'm asking you to do the same. Check you out later.